have our sonar. We're gonna be searching to see if we can find any cars underwater. It's only been a year, so people may not have noticed the car yet if it's out here. But there's not many ponds, and this is one of the few that makes sense that you could get to. What we got going on out here? Do it well, this really way. I'm really gonna kick you all out until I found out what you guys were doing. So. Oh, you. <laughs> Well, we're five feet right now. Nine, ten. This is definitely deep enough. But there are gators out here, so we're gonna keep watch of those. So there's a boat right here. Florida. It's got the Florida number. It's still on it. I mean, it's awesome that there's groups like y'all, because like you said earlier, there's only so much we can do and so much we can go on resources and yeah. the amount of people we have. Today we're down in Cocoa Beach, Florida, searching for a missing person by the name of Ishmael Soto. Now, this was a case that, I'm out here exploring with Nug, and this was a case was that you actually found, and we just happened to be in the area, so we figured we'd come out here and search the main river. Yeah, it's another one of those cases, the older gentleman, Vietnam veteran, Christmas day, 9 a.m., vanishes. Yeah. And that's all we know. Can't find anything else. Was he depressed? Was he, did he have, de you know, dementia? Suicidal, foul play, we just don't know. But we're really close to his house and there's a huge body of water right here. So we're gonna start here. We'll probably spend most of the day out here. And then a few ponds that we can yeah. hit if we strike out on the river. Yeah, so I mean, we always go to the most obvious bodies of water first. And we have our sonar. We're gonna be searching to see if we can find any cars underwater. And he was driving, I think like a Tahoe, was it? 2008, I think eight, something like that, yeah. Here's the car that he was driving in the info in case I'm getting it wrong. So we're gonna be searching the most obvious bodies of water first. Then we just narrow them down to the other bodies of waters that aren't so obvious. You, you never know in these cases. It's really a, it's a long shot. I hope we can find Ishmael. We might find other cars along the way, but uh, we're going to get down in the water and find out. Indeed. I think I think you're on a good shot. This this section of the water is a nightmare. Yeah. Because it's so big and it's tide dependent, but there's ponds surrounding his house too. So there is there's a lot of good chances we can find him. Yeah. It is so so hot. It is very hot. It yeah. is. Hopefully, I feel a little better. Man, what happened in winter? In the wasn't we here like a month ago and it's 50 it, degrees? Is there a winter in Florida? There was when we were there in Daytona, <laughs> at least. Uh, all right, let's get going. Might be too. I mean, it gets like deep enough right out here if the car drifted. You'd be able to see, yeah. But if it's going recent, people may have missed it if it's only a year ago. All right, we've been doing sonar up and down. There's a, Cause there's a road that goes all the way down by these houses. The problem is it's pretty shallow. A car would be like five, six feet, and that'd still be pretty close to the edge. It has, it's only been a year, so people may not have noticed the car yet if it's out here, but we're not seeing anything on the sonar yet besides like sunken like remains of bridges and boat docks. So I think me and Jeremy are going to head down to this huge sunken boat and then turn around and then we'll check up river. But we're going to keep going. Hopefully something pops out here soon. Yeah, so we haven't found anything down here. Here is this is another sunken sailboat or not sailboat. I guess just a regular boat I think we're gonna check this thing out. You can tell how shallow it is in the water here So it's gonna be difficult for a car to be in here. It looks like they tried to put everything on top that they're trying to save but There's Not much left of that. There's a skateboard in there. Oh It's like a skimboard Yeah I bet it used to be a nice boat. So yeah, we just got finished scanning that other side. I don't know if there's many obvious roads this way. It seems more like houses. So maybe scan a little bit around here, but I just don't know how much farther it's worth looking. I don't know. I mean, right here, definitely. I mean, yeah, with a couple of houses, I don't see how he could have gotten the water. Yeah. yeah, we'll do a little bit more searching and regroup. So we're going down this strip. It's pretty shallow. It's only like... Four, it's going like four, five to six feet. But one of the reasons we're checking in here because we were in Daytona like a month ago and there we found a car there and it was in like a small pocket that was just deep enough for a car. So you never really know. You kind of have to search 
in and out down the shore because there are deeper areas and there's that one in a million shot sometimes that there's a car there is a road going all the way down here so we have to check but also you guys aren't seeing all the we've been searching a lot of water i'm not going to show everything because it's it's not very exciting to see um so i'm trying to just show different parts and if we see anything on the sonar like a sunken boat but right now we cover a lot of water i think we're getting ready to head back it's a beautiful day though the plus side all right so nothing here i guess let's load up our boats and my trailer and you had a couple ponds in mind you want to hit right i sure do at least one two or three i'm really close to his house so definitely worth looking at All right, so we got the boat in. It looks really shallow initially. This is how Jan Shoop's car was though. You wouldn't have thought. But this might be- Are you able to push me in with the boat? Well, go ahead and get in and I'll push you out as far as I can. There's a road that goes all the way around this too. So I think it's worth checking. I'm just gonna let Jeremy get in because this is kind of quicker and I weigh down the boat. I don't really add much to it. So it stinks. It does smell really bad. Sewage? But there's not many ponds, and this is one of the few that makes sense that you could get to. And if he had dementia, it's kind of a straight road. You could go straight into it. We'll see if there's any drop-offs. We really got a serious algae bloom going on at the bottom of it, so I don't know how deep that goes. Well, we're five feet right now. Nine, ten. This is definitely deep enough. How's it going? What we got going on out here? So we're actually a search and recovery team. We travel around. We're searching for a missing person in the area oh, no kidding. and uh we specific we target bodies of water so we do sonar yeah it looked like he was doing some kind of survey or map and you know yes yeah we just I got you um we just came from the river we're checking we try to find vehicles and that's what we do we travel around the country so this is oh. like he actually lived nearby here so uh no kidding i thought it might be a obvious bodies of water we actually found a woman about a month ago a little farther south in, like really? a, in a tiny little back pond, kind of like this, a, little, well, a lot smaller than this one. But. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I got you, man. I wasn't sure what the hell was going on. Yeah. But it looked like, you know, because that guy, he was going back and forth. It's like, nah, he ain't out there just fishing. Oh, yeah, no, we don't have fish. We're not supposed to have motors in there, but if you're part of search and rescue, I ain't going to jump up and down, you know? So. Yeah. Yeah, no, we just get in and get out. I mean, we try, do you know any pot, like bodies of water that, that are yeah, like, snake. oh, yeah. No, I found a dead, uh, you know this was years and years ago but that pond over there there was a uh, uh somebody i guess he had drowned oh really and I, I saw him on the floating and it's like what the hell and then right across the way you know was the uh brevard county sheriff's dive team yeah and they were just on the other side of the pond so oh really they, they i don't, they were I don't know looking. if they were over there but they were looking for him but you know i had to drive over there and tell him i said look he's floating right over here yeah and that was probably 10 years ago or so wow but, yeah, it's hard to tell like how deep they are until you actually get in with the sonar because it's deep as hell over there well, really all of this area should be pretty deep because you see all that sand back there oh they oh yeah, yeah yeah they dredged it out because well a lot of that has been brought in but this pond especially right here these two yeah um they dredged it out so they could get all the pot or the all the sand for the beaches you know how the beaches were eroding? gotcha yeah so yeah. but um yeah, some of the, the other gentleman told us like uh, Carver of Carver Road. There's another like really deep, sketchy couple bodies of water that are. Uh, yeah, well, there's a pond right over there. Can you get to it just got driving back? Yeah. This road right here. Yeah. Okay. This is the first one we saw because like the gentleman uh, we believe has dementia, and we find a lot of times people with dementia they just keep going in straight lines. So like we saw this road, and uh, we were thinking it might you know you never oh, know. No kidding, That's kind of what happened well, hopefully before. Hopefully not, but you know. Do it this I'm really way. gonna kick y'all out until I found out what you guys were doing. So. Oh, you. <laughs> All right, guys. So the first pond was clear. We spoke to the city, and he gave us this other tip over here, which was close by. And uh, he actually told us a few years ago he found a body, as you guys heard, right here in this spot. And so the dive team's been in here before, and stuff has happened already in this body of water before. So I don't know. I mean, there's a road that goes all the way around it. I think it's got a good chance as any as having a, a car in it. Since yeah, the other one's 30 feet deep, you said. Yeah, it's crazy. 
that thing was crystal clear. This one's a little tannicky, but that other one was like, if there was a car out there, it would have been a great, oh, yeah. great, great shot. But there are gators out here, so we're going to keep watch of those. So we're going to go around this and uh, knock this out, then go to the next ponds. Let's do it. Yeah, I saw a bicycle guy going around, the only guy out here, and it looked like he called something, like, I'm assuming the police or something, and now he stopped by our vehicles. And I'm pretty sure he just took a picture of your license plate after we got, we talked to the city. And he said it's fine to be out here just without the motor, but we're on official business, so we'll All see. Right. Is he uh, cycling this way? Uh, no, he's going back the other way. Oh, yeah. But he did take pictures. All right, we've been going around this pond. It's pretty big. We haven't found anything yet. It's definitely deep enough to have a car. There's a little road that goes all the way around. We did have a little, uh, I don't know, some kind of bicycle that was kind of yelling at us, or he took our pic pictures of our, at least Jeremy's vehicle yep. for some reason. Mine's not even gonna be there. I don't know why, because we already talked to the city official and he's, you know, good with what we're doing. We're gonna finish around here and then we're gonna go, there's like five more ponds. I don't know if we'll be able to get to all of them in time. Two of them though are like right across from each other. Yeah, Sketchy. those ones north, they're like, yeah. they probably do them all and just jump over the bird. I think so, yeah. But we'll see. We're gonna keep going around this area and uh, there's like a little bridge over here we're about to go by. There's lots of birds out here, which is cool. Apparently there's gators, I haven't seen any. Yeah. Tons of birds. Tired of being. All right. That one is clear. We're heading to the next one. <clears throat> what are we looking at? I think you can turn around. Potentially, there's a spot where you can get back up to get to turn around. All right, so <laughs> just jump right up into the woods. Man. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Is this is a pretty sketchy spot. If you guys can't tell, there's it's a dumping ground. Like many of the spots we go to, I mean, gosh, there's so much trash. Couches, chairs, scrap everywhere. Uh, there's even a boat back here. Somebody dumped into the woods. There's also one out here that's like half sunk. Let's go check this out. So, it's a boat out there. We're gonna put the boat in the water and we're gonna keep doing what we're doing. Search this area really good. Any cars? Yeah, I guess we'll dive them. If not, move on to the next. I see a tire out there. Definitely, like, the question, there's no doubt in my mind people dump stuff. There's a boat right there. Is there a car right here? No. I think it's got a pretty good chance of being one, considering. It'd be a good spot to dump And a it's car. clearly pretty deep. Oh, it's so weird, boat sitting there. <laughs> yeah. Well. Let's see what happens. We'll check it out, Yeah. Was that guy fishing? Yeah, he's like, he seemed pretty quick to want to leave, though. Oh, like, really? Was, right when I pulled up, though, he's like, oh, we're packing up. I was like, you got to leave or anything? I was like, oh, no, no, I'm just going to, you know, we're like, all right. I ain't telling. I ain't got that. Well, like I said, sketchy people out here, man. That's for those, those guys I talked to. They're like, oh, yeah, that place. That's where you want to go. This is Gators. Ooh, that's really nasty. <laughs> yeah, you're diving this one. So there's a boat right here. Florida, it's got the Florida number, it's still on it. I think people throw trash in here. That's a big boat. They just backed some of that bare bone off the trailer, I bet, down here. See, there's a giant boat right there. It's a really small body of water, but I already see a tire. I don't know, man. It's 10 feet deep in that one spot, eight feet. Definitely looks sketchy though, that's for sure. There's the boat. No cars. No cars. Not this one. 
dude. Oh no, that branch moved too. Oh no! What are you doing? I'm doing nothing. Do something. So this is the other one. There's an old boat right here. We gotta get around this. Is it sunken? Uh, uh, yeah, kind of. Seen better days. Yeah, there's a chair right there, dude. We gotta watch for you. There's a bunch of chairs, the TV. Gosh, people just dumping stuff. Are those shoes back there? Could be a car here. Has this thing been sitting here four months? Cause you ain't getting a car past this thing. But there is a road over there. There might be another way it got in. Oh. I think people just come here and sit on the. Oh God. I think this has been here a while, man. Oh, it's a lizard. Oh God. Another one? <laughs> Jesus. Oh. oh this one, I don't think this boat's moved. I don't think any cars come through here. Fifth and final location for the day. We still have a lot of water to cover, so if he's not in here, then we're gonna have to do a part two and come back because we're running out of daylight and we can't be here. Well, yeah. I got today, so. Yeah, I think it's busier after, you know, six o'clock, five, six o'clock when people get off work, so. Yeah. Also, but. It's worth a shot. This runs by the road. He could very well be in here. So uh, let us. Uh, Dang, I got a lot of fish. Do the boat one more time. Let's see what happens. Those big fish are big. Yeah. All right, man. Good luck. All right, we're back in the water. Fifth and final spot for the day. Check out these giant holes over here. I think. I know they're fishing spots, like like where they nest. You can see inside this hole right there, there's a fish. But, like, that's what the sonar is for, to find these cool fishing spots. But we use it to find missing people. So I'm going to putt over here to the other side, because the other side of this lake runs right along the road. So I want to check that spot really good, make sure there's nothing out there. So How's it going? here with the guy on the boat? Yeah. I just, I just talked to him with Rockless PD. So what do you all do? Uh, so we do search and recovery, travel mm -hmm. around searching for uh, missing people. Um, you guys just go like through the list like that you'd see posted up in Walmart or? Yeah, so there's databases online. There's a, uh, it's called Namus. Mm -hmm. It's a website. There's another one. So people post like the people, the last known location, you know, whatever. Sometimes the family adds info and stuff like mm -hmm. that. And the vehicle, you know, we target vehicles. I don't yeah. know how much they talk to you about it, what we do, but. Uh, no, I just kind of told them real quick about the whole being in the lake here about it and stuff. Oh, okay. Is it, are we not, is it? You're not allowed to have any kind of vessels especially with combustible engines in any of the uh, ponds or lakes within the city. So I, like trolling motors fine? Any, any kind of vessel at all. Like oh, even, okay. even kayaks, they don't want them in here. Why? I don't know. But um, Yeah, because we talked to someone at the city earlier and they said, you know, it was fine. That's what he said, but we can't let it happen unless you have some kind of like written permission or the city itself contacts us and says, hey, gotcha. just so you know, these guys are out here doing this, that, or the other hire a private company or are you like a non-profit organization uh so we're volu we're volunteer um and we do like documentaries like facebook videos and mm -hmm. it, fun it funds what we do so we don't have to, we can't we don't charge families or anybody anything mm -hmm. it all like pays for itself we just provide our services and travel around gotcha because like a lot of times you know local law enforcement can only do so much yeah and unless there's clues to go off so we just kind of go in search the closest bodies of water to where these people were last seen or where they were uh lived at and you know it's it's a pretty slim recovery like percent slim, like slim finding chance, people yeah. but you know there there's that one percent chance that that's pretty cool yeah yeah so unfortunately we didn't find any uh anything today or even any cars found yeah. some boats <laughs> lots of boats sunken and we went to uh is it carver it's sketchy like little pond there's like mm -hmm. carver or something there was like sunken boats out there yeah. look like a dumping ground and stuff like mm -hmm. that but you got me in trouble did i well, I saw the guys casting their net. I didn't think that was legal. I didn't know. It is to a point, but is it? again, city ordinances say you can't. And there's certain things that you can and cannot cast net. Usually, fresh body, fresh water, you can't cast net in. But that's interesting, man. 
Yeah, I've never seen it. Uh, like y'all. Yeah, not many people doing it, but uh, no. it's it's a. Uh, you know, anytime we can help families, at least get some answers to where their loved ones aren't. You know, mm -hmm. that's still a good thing. I mean, it's awesome that there's groups like y'all because, like you said earlier, there's only so much we can do and so much we can go on resources and yeah. the amount of people we have and everything else that we gotta gotta deal with. Right. But that's cool, man. But yeah, like like I told you, man. Mm -hmm. Just get up with City Hall. You can talk to somebody in there. Let them know what your, what your deal is. Let you know the group you're with. And can't say yes or no that they're gonna let you or not. But yeah, I wouldn't expect too much, honestly. <laughs> so I did search that whole area before he stopped me, and I talked him into like let me finish. So there could have been. You didn't search right here though. I didn't. see yeah, well, like if, yeah, true, true. But I don't think. I mean, we covered some ground at least. So I think we should put the boat away. And then we'll uh, figure out a game plan for next time. A part two, what do you think? Well, yeah, I mean, there's only those other ones I was looking at. It's somewhere. All right, guys, it's been a long day searching tons of bodies of water all around Coco, Florida. Unfortunately, we did not find Ishmael today, but I know we sure tried our hardest. I'm a little sunburned. I am. Pretty tired. I am a little burned famished. to a crisp. I can but... feel my skin shrinking. You know, at least, you know, it, unfortunately, it's a, we know where he's not, which is a good and bad thing, because we always like to try to bring answers and closure, and try to find or any type of vehicles in the water. But, you know, we always say this is a good awareness video for the case to resurface, to resurface it, and hopefully, you know, bring some answers. Maybe someone else knows that's watching this, knows something that we don't. He hasn't been missing for that long. No, so, four months, I think, at Christmas. Not even we're that. hoping he's still alive. He just, he just decided to go somewhere, maybe get, go somewhere to get his mind off life. We don't know. There's a lot of unanswered questions. We've been saying all day, we feel like we're missing some key piece of evidence. I mean... Yeah, I mean, we haven't talked to anybody about this. This is just strictly what we got off the internet. Yeah. And news stories that they ran over a year ago. Or, I take it back. Four months ago. Four months, yeah. But it's like, yeah, like... Mm, like six days after Christmas, I think they ran some news stories about him missing. So that's all we got. Yeah. So, like, who knows where he went? His wife did say something about going to... Uh, wanting to go back to Orlando, where they lived Orlando, for 15 yeah. years. So maybe he took some backwoods road halfway to Orlando and he ended up in a creek somewhere that way. We just don't know. We have no clue. Like, did he have a cell phone? Cell phone pings. Any of right. that stuff. So who knows? We really came out on a whim because we were in the area. So we decided to search this case. But we cleared a lot of water, which is a good thing. Yeah, we and we'll have to come back and do another uh, part two video because there's a lot more places to search and i mean we only had the cops called on us in two cities we, and we have one more yeah <laughs> so, so if, if you guys didn't really understand what was going on when the cops got called basically i, I think they got called on us they got called on us because you're not supposed to have boats in these we had a everybody boat all these houses don't like it yeah so but you know they're is. always cool with what we're doing and that shout out to the officer uh we talked to he was i don't know if he was on, on duty or not he wasn't in his uniform but he was really cool and he was like you know i get it i like what you appreciate what you guys are doing um, but yeah. luckily they're all like that pretty cool. yeah. so that's gonna wrap this video guys i really appreciate all the support of y'all watching and you know we couldn't do this without your support so i really appreciate everyone liking subscribing commenting it helps out so much as always if you want to support what we do further there's some links in the description on how to do that also check out explore with nug channel to see his perspective of the day and uh we're gonna keep searching for more people oh yeah search for more people maybe dive some more because it's getting hot dive <laughs> some more so stay tuned see you guys in the next one